Hi and welcome to the third video about LFOs Revisited. So in the first video we saw the basic operation of the LFOs in a world of Blofeld. In the second video we talked about synchronization and now I want to show you what I'm doing very often in my patch programming videos. I'm talking about the random values. So let's have a look again on the simulator. Let's select an LFO. And when I'm talking about random values, of course, there are two types of random values. Normally, we have the random shape, which looks like this. So when you play it, it's a constant change of the values. And then we have a sample and hold shape, which is a bit different. These are also random values, but the device chooses one value and holds it for some time. And after this time, it selects a different value. But what I want to do most of the time are different values for each keystroke. So I'm playing some keys and every note I play gets a different random value. And there is a workaround to, in order to uh, reach this goal. So you can change your LFO speed to the minimum. Okay. You can also change the simulation speed back to real time. And play it and when you have a free face you get a different value for this note but there is a small problem I want to show you so that you are that you are aware of that as you can see The speed of these LFOs, which are set to zero, is not zero. They don't freeze. They are actually moving. And after some figures, you may get to a point where after a short time, this value will jump to another value even if you don't press the key again. But I think this is a good workaround if you want to have different values for every key. This can make your sound very interesting. For instance, when you are modulating um, the filter frequency, the cutoff frequency or the resonance um, with such an LFO, or when you are using multiple LFOs with this option in order to modulate different um, parameters of your sound. We can also recreate this. I'm showing you the second modulation source. Again, LFO. Again, at speed zero with a sample and hold. And free phase. Then you can see with the trigger that we get different green and red values for every keystroke. This is also quite good, for instance, in, especially in the Blofeld, um, to modulate the position in your wavetable. So you get a, a sound with a huge variety of different, um, different noises. I think you should try this trick actually in your own patches. If you enjoyed this video, make a thumbs up and please leave a comment. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.